Hey guys, it's the Lone Wolf here with some more Civilization V, uh, the Egyptian Empire. Uh, while I do have all of my cities, it does look like um, I lost uh, a few turns, uh, at uh, guess around 5 or 6 turns here. So I'm just going to pick it up where I, uh, where the, the save game uh, picks up there, I couldn't find any later. Uh, versions of this game, so I'm just gonna have to keep going here and that one finished the <coughs> the granaries, so I'm going to uh, build a lighthouse and if I'm not mistaken I was planning to expand here but we are going to be cut off by the Romans over there, yep Exactly, so I can cheat a few uh, <coughs> a few turns here uh, because I know a little bit of extra information. The great, great merchant has been born in Thebes, if I'm not mistaken. I already had that in the last video as well. So a monument only six turns. That looks pretty good. Uh, let's just begin with the road, and I need to make a few more worker boats as well. So let's buy these worker boats and a worker boat, there we go and last time I'd used this great merchant to uh, start a trade route with Vienna so I'm gonna do that this time as well and I'm quickly going to check out over here hey Caesar, uh, so great friend, okay there we are again the Roman Emperor who we meet for the second time actually so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight off the island with uh, with these settlers which is actually also a cool new feature uh, from the last civilization that I played is that even land units can uh, can be turned into naval units so you're not as restricted by water as before and I create a Hagia Sophia I'm not sure how to exactly pronounce it uh, plus five generation of great people frigate person of choice appear near the capital city that's gonna be interesting I'm going to choose a great scientist, yep, because it's early enough in the development. He just finished a worker boat and you can make Colosseum for extra happiness. These people are still not happy. And is it the worker boat that wants to move? Come on, get your ass over there. Now you can make some more irrigations and there we go. Is suggesting I built an academy which gives a great science boost in that tile so I'll just make that one and I'll continue improving the lands and now I'm going to I hope that I'm not gonna lose uh, the settlers in deeper water but there are some Mongolian settlers over here as well so let's just keep going there is the worker boat heading towards these uh, nice resources for my empire. I need them. Can't I make a trade route yet? Maybe it's already done. So I'm not really sure. I'm going to cut the forest down actually. There we go. Fisheries, fisheries. And I also create Angkor Wat, extra like no culture, in the world. and acquiring of new tiles is reduced by 25%, that's pretty good. Let's see what else I can make, an oracle in 8 turns, anything that gives me extra happiness, there we go, Notre Dame, 13 turns and plus 10 happiness, because <clears throat> um, if my happiness is uh, below zero then the growth of my uh, of my cities is uh, I think a quarter of what it should be and I can't build a customs house there so I'm gonna try and make it uh, with the Chinese let's see if that works if I can also build a trade route with the Chinese and let's uh, have these settlers try and find an island. Oh great, now the vermin are breeding. I have to deal with both of you and Mongolia. I'll have to teach them a lesson. Yeah, we know that from the last time. Caesar is a real uh, pain in the butt. So let's just keep going. 
and try and find an island. I hope I'll find one. Uh, Memphis already built quite a lot. Maybe a great wonder could be. 19 turns for the Oracle. The barracks and the walls. Well, we're working on production, so I'm just gonna build some walls there. And the policy screen. It's one production in every city, seems pretty useful. Plus one happiness for each city you own. Connected to the capital, one happiness for citizens in that. It's that's probably gonna be good. Yeah, plus nine, so that gives me a nice buffer. I'm gonna go for that one first, and then the extra production on the next policy I can make. And this looks okay, this looks alright. How many workers do I have actually? One, two, three, four, four. Might make just one more as soon as possible, just to be able to develop the land quickly enough. And let's just keep going, or is there, well, there is a sign of something over there, so maybe we'll be able to find uh, an island a bit more to the north there. And we just acquired that tile as well, or I can't build any improvements on it, strange. Anything useful here? Nope. So let's go towards this sheep. Next turn. Oh, and I can't go into Italy. Uh, into the Chinese territory. That would be a war. So I can only make these trade routes with uh, the small city-states like Vienna over here. Which already has one. So I'm going to do the next useful thing is I'm going to start a golden age. Which increases especially my money. Which I really like. Give me more money. And there we go, some roads, and uh, let's just keep on the general improvements here. Two turns, two turns. And actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you're denouncing me, hmm? Not uh, as uh, big a mouth as the last time. And we discover banking. 20 foot oracle. I'll just make a burial tomb. Always a nice idea. Let's go for gunpowder. Yep, I had. I, we've already been here uh, to some degree. There are some differences, but uh, I definitely started the gunpowder research last time as well. And we're already halfway the video actually, so I'm sorry about that. But uh, it's a bit of cheating as well. I can uh, get things done with a little more turns. Uh, in advance compared to the previous uh, time. Uh, let's see, what do I want over here? Uh, maybe um, I'll have you make that worker, why not? And a burial tomb. <coughs> Since we're the Egyptians and I have this advantage, I'm gonna have to uh, use it as much as possible. Yeah, yeah, quite puny, huh? Interesting there, Caesar. Please wait. Just production. I'll just make a bank. Just production. Let me see. That could be useful. If there was anything with production or food. Yeah, a workshop. There you go. That looks nice. Uh, let's see if I can upgrade some of these units. Definitely the crossbow and some Egyptian knights. Interesting. These are still the plain warriors, so I can upgrade these guys to swordsmen. Upgrade all to swordsmen. There we go. And there we go. And if I'm not mistaken, yeah, there is one more tile with fishes, so I'm gonna purchase another worker boat so that militarily I'm a bit uh, stronger. Just in case Caesar does decide uh, he wants to try me out. Those Chinese dudes are actually annoying me a little. Smile the most. I'm still fifth, so plus 11, not that bad. Any signs of land? Nope. Uh, let's build some 
more mines and let's uh, garrison all these swordsmen now <clears throat> and that worker boat yep you can go over here garrison garrison mr garrison if you watch south park you know what i'm talking about <laughs> and just keep going to the side god i hope i find another island because otherwise uh, i'll be looking pretty small and uh, Caesar might uh, turn out to be right. But this looks like shallow water, so that's nice. And I meet Bucharest. They provide me with a gift of blue gold. They get gold and horses as resources. The golden age has ended, but I'm already at plus 100. That's nice. And there we go, we're just gonna risk a landing and hope that I can find a, a nice spot. There below. Hmm. A lot of deserts though. Might not be ideal, but we'll see an extra worker. I'm gonna have him help the f uh, develop around Elephantine and I like getting down the woods because they give extra resources to my cities, to the closest one anyway. I'll just build the aqueduct here and another burial tomb. Let's go for the next turn. Let's see... No, 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 oh god. Oh god, even more barbarians. And here's Napoleon. Little dude on his horse. What brings you here? Hmm, colonization actually. And get down the forest. So that's actually the French border right there. That's a bit annoying. Huh. Well, we'll have to see if I can make a city. And is that even... Hmm, probably not even a good idea. Although I can make a city. And then hope that I can pass through Bucharest's ter territory and continue developing. I'll risk it, what the hell. It's uh, like a little colony outside of the main empire. We see here. I'll just go for acoustics. It's got a lot of buildings there. Mines, choose production. Just make the granary, and I'll actually purchase some pikemen. And they work. I got the money, so why not? You get a lady roll as well. It's there to be used. So, there we go. Our little colony has been established. Yeah, forget about those. I might want to um, be careful there with my worker. And more roads. Choose production. Worker sh workshop. Always useful to have more production. My gold is climbing nicely. I couldn't help but notice you seem to be expanding into lands. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can understand you there. <laughs> I'll just apologize for this one, but it'll help me keep an eye and uh, if I find another opportunity, still take it. Choose production. Yeah, why not? More workshop, more production. And the oh, there we go. Notre Dame, very nice. Plus 10 happiness, moving to plus 20. And the great merchant point, whatever that does. Anything else I want to build here? Well, pretty good for happiness. Combat strength, great scientists. From research agreements. Hmm. It's 25% gold from trade routes, and then the Oracle 10 turns. I'm gonna start out with the bank. Seems like uh, the most use useful one at this point, compared to the other big wonders. And just keep going. Uh, more farms. I'll go right around the city. I'll just have him start the Oracle. Only 14 turns. And yeah, so they took my worker, huh? Can this guy get there? 
Alright, I got a back. This actually caught me a little bit of guard. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna purchase another pikeman unit. Just to be on the safe side here, and so I can have an extra unit which can help defend in the development of these lands. And uh, I wonder, I must have missed uh, the, um, <coughs> the notification from the game about uh, losing that worker there. But anyway, uh, that's about 15 minutes and uh, I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, we actually had to go back in time a bit, a few turns, but I'm gonna try and pick this series up if, uh, I don't know, Steam sales and uh, new games don't come in between uh, doing that. So I'll see you guys next time.